guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and very clearly it's going to be a very busy December uh, for both Global and JP. There's been just a lot of news breaking. Um, of course, you know, looking at the right side of the screen, we know that our boy uh, LR Gohan's going to be coming up soon. Seems like it's a good old Christmas spirit with Global being shafted. Just so much shit going on. And if that's not enough now, there's a brand new update coming. Now, What's very funny about this, right, is I, I just, I remember specifically, there some some guy made a post on the Dokkan Reddit, and it was just like this long thing where he's basically saying like, oh, what if it's a Trunks? What if we're getting a Trunks from the BoJack movie as the LR? And I'm pretty sure I commented and just said, no. <laughs> and then like, oh, hey, Trunks is right there on the next version update. It's like, could you imagine? I mean, we still, this Trunks... I mean, this is, like, the coolest Trunks ever looks in the BoJack movie, right? Um, so, like, you know, we could get a Super Saiyan version of him. You know, I'm, you know, hope I, I do, Gohan is who Dokkan should do. Because, you know, again, Dokkan hasn't ha hit top grossing since uh, August, which is normal, by the way. Again, I I've gone over it, but, you know, typically these last couple months, they're always, like, villain Dokkan Fest oriented with, like, non-hype banners. And Dokkan usually doesn't hit top grossing until, like, December time. Um, I think LR Gohan will definitely be the LR, especially with the new sprites in Chain Battle. Uh, hopefully this Trunks, this is the World Tournament Reward card, but hopefully we get a Super Saiyan version of that Trunks, like, as a new banner unit. Because that's one thing I, I think I am disappointed with in Dokkan, is that I feel like they don't release enough units, like, enough summonable units during these banners and stuff like that. Like, just Bojack and Zangya. Like, I remember when Metal Cooler came out and we had, you know... The Metal Cooler movie Vegeta and the Metal Cooler movie Piccolo, right? Or, like, you know, look at STR Super Boot came out. We had the Hercule and AGO West Kai. Like, I like double, like, two new units with the Dokkan Fest. So, like, we could have gotten Bojack, Zangya, and then, I don't know, maybe, like, maybe the card could have been, like, um, Zangya, Gokua, Bujin, and Bido. Like, all four of them in, like, one card, right? That would have worked really well to, like, pair alongside Bojack. That would have worked well on, like, Joint Forces, you know, LR Bojack plus them. That would have been cool, but, you know, whatever. Um, Alright, so as far as the details here, uh, there is actually something that's a little bit interesting. Um, So, I hopped in Discord with the homie Goresh. He didn't make any Twitter posts or anything like that, but we sort of went over the posts together, and he told me all of the updates. So, I mean, I guess I don't have proof, but I, I don't... <laughs> I don't lie, so this is straight from the words of Goresh. The first thing he told me, this right here, huge. No longer will you have to remove units from Chain Battle to Dokkan Awaken or reverse them. So literally, like the Dokkan Reddit, my mentions, the comments of YouTube videos everywhere is filled with people saying, why can't I Dokkan Awaken this unit? Why can't I reverse this unit? It's because you have them as one of your Chain Battle supporters. Well, now you're not going to have to remove them from Chain Battle. It'll just let you Dokkan Awaken them, reverse them, and do all that stuff. So that is going to be... Vi that's very exciting for me. It's like, woo! All right, finally. Um, all right, next. This is going to be a brutal change for, like, me and Nolar and Goresh. Uh, basically, what this is, is when you do summons, you guys know how when you pull an LR, like, the little thing pops up and says, like, LR, right? Just It's very good for new players, so, like, you're summoning and you see the LR thing pop up so you know, oh, this is a good unit. Well, now for Dokkan Fest exclusives, we're going to get the same type of thing. Now we're going to get a pop-up that will tell us it's a Dokkan Festival exclusive. So, what this is going to do is going to slow down our summons quite a bit. Still no friend system update, Dokkan. Still no skip summon feature, you know, skip animation. Because it's like, oh, good, Goku and Chaozu. I think I'm just going to go ahead and skip this one, right? Like, please... One day, they will give it to us. Um, so we have that. Again, th this this is a change that is good for new players. I mean, six years of content, six years worth of characters. Like, a new player, they're not going to know the good shit. And they're not going to know how to differentiate, you know, base, I don't know, transforming Goku, who's on every single Dokkan Fest banner ever. And then, like, the 60 other SSR base Gokus, right? So, like, now at least there will be, like, a visual pop-up for new players. So, I think that's good. Um, Alright, so this is just, like, an update towards, like, the, the progress for, like, completing missions. Not, I mean, this this one is pretty self-explanatory, right? Don't really need to go into it. Um, and then this one is also self-explanatory right here. So, 
what they're doing is they're sort of streamlining giant transformation characters. So I'm actually going to back out real fast. And let me just pull up uh, the giant category, which is this one right here. Okay. So here's giant category characters. Now notice, with them, like, you know, you could do your normal stuff where you don't kind of awaken them, train them, go to hidden potential system, reverse them. But there's no second option. So what happens is for really big time, like, transformation characters, right? So like transformation or exchange or whatever, you can click this button and then you could see their transformation, right? So you can see the difference in passive, super attack, active skill, links. Right, like, you know, we have our boy Broly down here. Here, I might as well just go to my... Because I have one built for transformation. Oh, boy, I'm actually going to have to update this now and add in all these great apes as well. Because, I mean, it's basically just the transformation mechanic now. So, seems as though what they want to do is they kind of want to, again, streamline this to make all of the sort of, like, transformations just be, like, like in that same button, Right. So again, like even like exchange characters like Herculean Boo, you click the thing and you can see the differences in the units. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I do think this is a good change, right? So that now uh, just giant category characters, uh, we will be able to see the differences in their transformations. Now for like a lot of these old fodder great apes, like, you know, this great ape Kid Goku right here, or I don't know, like uh, great ape Nappa, it doesn't really matter, right? But for something like LR Baby, it actually would matter because Baby's Great Ape uh, has the LR Gohan, LR Super Vegito, LR Buhan mechanic where he gets an additional key per orb. Like, that's actually something you would want to look at, you know, Baby's Great Ape transformation details and, you you know, you could see that, right? Um, or, like, I believe Cumber. Cumber's Great Ape, I believe, gives himself either one extra key or two extra keys, something like that, right? So, like, now, with a lot of these characters, it, you'll be able to see that. Now, typically, here's the thing, too. Typically, when they do this, like, this type of change, that means there's a new unit coming that is going to, like, sort of benefit or have to do with these changes, right? We literally just saw this happen two times. Um, by the way, Cumber, as a great ape, just so I can get the info correct, gives himself two key at the start of turn. That's good. For a great ape to do that, that's actually very helpful because it's typically very difficult to super attack with great apes because they don't have a uh, key, right? So we've just seen this recently, right, with two characters. Um, the first character is Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Had the wording of his passive changed. Let me see if I can't pull this up. Let me see if the Dokkan Wiki has changed it. I don't think the change is live on global, so they might not have actually changed the wording on the Dokkan Wiki. Let me just see, um, and I'll go ahead and show, but... In the past, uh, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the wording for his super attack counter is that it was a high chance to counter. Yeah, okay, perfect. They did update it on the wiki. Um, so what happened is when in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta came out, they changed this guy to give it a great chance, which makes sense because he has a 70% chance of evading and countering uh, enemy super attacks, right? Then Int Gogeta came out, and they gave him uh, just a high chance, and he had a 50% chance of countering. It was not, it's, you know, it's not the same number. Um, like, the two Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas don't have the same number. So they went ahead and changed the wording for this text Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to make it consistent, right? Then, we also have this uh, character, where they just changed the wording of Hachiak's passive. Like, the way, the way it's worded, so that, like, when he kills enemies, and he's able to get... Um, the health regen or whatever it is here let me just pull up i'll pull up hatchy x details as well so you can go ahead and take a look at it but i believe it, it basically it is just to make it a little bit more clear that the health uh you regen when killing an enemy with hatchy kicks in at the end of turn so like recovers 40 percent hp at the end of turn if you deliver a final blow right so he'll get the 40 percent hp regeneration when hatchy kills an enemy so like you know we, this came in before Hatchiak got his awakening. Like, me and Gresh were both thinking that originally this was going to have something to do with Bojack. Um, but it actually had to do with Hatchiak. So, it looks like there's going to be some type of, like, new Great Ape unit coming. Now, I don't think this is going to have anything to do with the Part 2 LR. I, I think it's very, very clearly going to be Gohan, right? The Part 2 LR. I mean, just based off of the new sprite alone, it it's just... There's too much evidence, and then the last couple of years, the LR, Trunks and Mai, and Spirit Bomb Goku have directly correlated. Oh, good. 
Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to reload. But they've directly correlated with um, the recent Dokkan Fest exclusive that's come out, right? So, again, it, it's definitely, I would say, going to be uh, Gohan, is who we're going to see. Um, but this Great Ape could either have to do with potentially, like, maybe some other Great Ape character is going to EZA, or potentially, I guess, we could see maybe, like, a, a big-time Great Ape character could be part of the New Year's Dokkan Fest. It's very possible. So, like, maybe, like, you know, I, I would say the most likely to me is, like, a Saiyan Saga Great Ape Vegeta um, is what we could see potentially. Like, maybe, like, Kaioken Goku Great Ape Vegeta as a dual Dokkan Festival. But I don't... See, I don't know. I I still like the idea of Gogeta and Shinemba myself. And then the secondary idea is Kid Goku and Demon King Piccolo. Um, but we'll see. Um, you know, I, I think Dokkan really should try and make sure that they end December strong. So that they're leading into the six-year anniversary with, like, good momentum. Rather than just, like, releasing, like, fodder, like, banners or something like that, right? So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, who, like, again, because... Them changing, uh, also, oh, uh, there's one other thing I need to point out too. So, it's not just the news in the update right here, right? Where they, they're basically showing that, you know, they're going to make it to that all the different Great Ape transformations. You know, now you could take a look at it, right? But there's also wording. It's one of these two. Th okay, this is maintenance is announced for the 7th. Okay. Uh, but right here, I believe it, it's talking about how... Um, the wording is going to change for great apes, right? And I, I think it's just going to say, like, when conditions are met. Again, what Goresh told me was he thinks that they're just sort of, like, streamlining, stream, streamlining it to make these great ape transformations line up a little bit more closely with, like, the normal transformation mechanic, right? So, um, we will see. Again, this means there's probably a new unit coming, I would say, in December, most likely. That is going to have something to do with, with Great Apes. It's going to have some sort of Great Ape transformation. So, um, you know, again, who knows what it could be. Um, potentially for the New Year's Dokkan Festival. Again, like, if you're talking about giant characters... <sighs> I mean, I, I could only really see, like... Gr like, Great Ape Vegeta and Kaioken Goku, I think, would absolutely um, merit, like, New Year's hype. Like, I, I do think that can sort of hit it, but... Like, when you look at the potential for the giant category, I just, there's not a lot of, like, I, I don't get a lot of faith that, like, one of these types of characters is going to carry, like, New Year's or something. Like, they're not going to do, like, a metal cooler. Like, you know, me and Goresh were joking, like, you know, Dr. Cochin and Dr. Wheelow for, like, New Year's or something like that. Like, we're probably not going to see that, right? Lord Slug, yeah. Like, I don't, they're not going to drop, like, LR Lord Slug, I don't think, so... Uh, we'll see. I mean, I feel like a Great Ape Kid Gohan would be good, but not, like, not either as the Double Rates LR or as New Year's. I don't, I don't think Kid, Great Ape Kid Gohan is either of those. Because, like, these, these neck, I don't want to say that the Double Rates Christmas banner is not the biggest, like, oh, because, I mean, Trunks and Mai was it two years ago, right? Um, but New Year's typically is the, like, some of the best shit they've got, right? Merge Zamasu and Super Saiyan... Rage Trunks, the Spirit Bombs for Rage Trunks when they first came out in the anime. Um, Tech Vegito Blue, SCR Rose, Blue Gogeta, Dragon Ball Super Broly. Those are the type of characters they typically drop for New Year's. So um, we will see. Again, um, let me know what you guys think is coming. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, and I will catch y'all next time. So again, this update will come on the 7th with maintenance. Uh, as for Global, typically, like, like maybe a month from now, Global will get the new update, right? Like, they don't usually wait that long to do, like, version updates for Global, so... Let me know what you guys think, uh, and I'll catch y'all next time.